And thanks for watching and streaming WMER 2 News at 6 tonight. I'm Kelly Swoop. And I'm Kendall Green. The gas tax holiday is coming to an end. That's right. Over the weekend, the state tax break goes away. WMER 2 News' is Don Harrison tells us what the summer driving costs might be like. Well, it was fun while it lasted. I think it's ridiculous that we have to pay this kind of money for gas. Seeing gas over $4 was a shock. Lawmakers gave us a 30-day state tax gas holiday, and that is coming to an end Sunday. Even with a more than $7 billion state surplus, Democratic lawmakers did not want to extend the tax break into the peak driving season. Now that gas will return to more than $4 a gallon, money for other things will be limited. You know, whether we make donations or buy groceries here at Food Line, definitely going to impact uh, your spending. We should expect prices to go up about 37 cents at 12.01 Sunday morning. The price may not go up right after midnight. It should change after the next gas delivery. Gas prices are based on the international price of crude oil and gas. Nobody is looking forward to higher prices, but there may be a silver lining to all of this. Matt Davis owns a small oil and gas company in Louisiana. The higher the price for oil and gas and the gas you pay at your pump, you know, the more that's going to drive innovation for other renewable technologies. We all like to save money, but feel helpless as prices are going up and down. AAA tells us there is something we can do to save the cost of gas in our own car. Make sure you're observing the speed limit. Okay, for every five miles per hour, you're driving over 60 miles per hour. It's the equivalent of spending an extra 15 cents per gallon of gas, so slow it down. As gas prices peaked around $4.32 in Maryland a month ago, it will be tough to face the higher price after this weekend. It's going to be a shock, I mean, but what are you going to do? You, ha you know, everybody's got to drive. On the Eastern Shore, Don Harrison, WMAR 2 News.